all right y'all i'm doing another video in this video i was on instagram right and i saw uh foxy brown because i follow foxy brown the rapper right and she posts a snippet of her song uh i think it was china white or whatever and mr papers comment under it because when i comment i say you know a nana you know hashtag ill nana king fox dirty whatever and she liked it. So I went back and go, I like, oh, you know, Foxy Brown liked my stuff or whatever. Then I saw, hold up, Mr. Papers, he <laughs> he put a fire emoji with the uh, purple devil emoji. Now, Mr. Papers is uh, uh, Little Kim's boyfriend slash uh, baby father, right? So I'm thinking, well, did Little Kim and Mr. Papers broke up or something? Because I don't know, that's kind of messy. So I did a little a little homework and I was like, wait a minute. I think I heard um that he dated uh not dated, he hunched uh Foxy Brown before when he was much younger, like before Little Kim was ever in a picture. Picture so Foxy Brown and him uh, according to him had something going on and he did an interview so i want you guys to listen to this because this was like what two years ago when he did this interview and i didn't know though but listen to this let me make sure i turn it up for y'all the thing is i think I, I think i was just meant for this life you know when right, right, <laughs> right, it's like right before i met i met kim well before that i was 21 for so before that i was when i was when i was 16 on my 16, my turning 17, my 17th birthday was the day I, I met Foxy Brown. I was fucking, okay. fucking Foxy. Foxy, 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 Foxy. That's what right. I'm sorry, you said bro. It. Yeah, yeah. You, have, you were having this. You were having this. He's the craziest, craziest shit. Yeah, Paul, we was fornicating, was... me and Foxy. That was my girl. That was fucking Foxy Brown. That was my girl. Okay. But I was like 16, so I was young. I turned 17 after a couple <laughs> weeks after I met her. So, I, like, you know, and funny, I never told Kim that. It's okay, man. We we being open now. It's so, your fault, though. I'm no, gonna blame no, it on no, you. No, no, no. So you were you had this relationship yeah. with Foxy Brown. So I met her. She, she wouldn't deny this. Of course not. Yeah, uh -oh. you know, f like salute to Foxy. She's a strong girl too. You know, Kim is the strongest, but you know, Foxy was dope. And you know, of like, I was. I was... All right. So y'all just heard that, right? So now, <laughs> so they had their thing when they was younger. Fast forward. Him and little Kim got something going on because, you know, but something more serious because they got a child together, you know, they in love or whatever. Um, I guess this I'm, I'm thinking, though, like, is there trouble in paradise, though? Are they still together? Like, did they just broke up or something or uh, or what? Because he put in that under her comment section. And, you know, I'm going to just say this. What's her uh, Foxy Brown ever so often? Uh, it's like she's still got got an issue with little kim or little kim they both don't like each other right so she would always post videos of other people basically saying like hey i think this was on uh, the nori show or whatever like saying basically um who you think is the best little kim or foxy brown and then he would say uh whoever the person was would be like foxy brown like she would always post stuff like that or like take little jabs or just whatever right and so um, it just goes to show you that something is still brewing there between them. So do you guys think it's messy for Mr. Papers to go under her comment section and like her stuff or support her stuff or whatever? Like, do you think that, oh, that's just petty, that's nothing? Or do you think that's a problem? Me, personally, I wouldn't like that. If I'm with somebody and me and this other person got history... And you say on you say on this uh this was a couple of years ago on this uh radio show that hey I didn't tell my lover, but we used to do ba 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 ba. So you didn't tell her face to face, but you put it on uh you put it on uh the internet for the world to see. You went on this radio show. That's how she gonna find out that her arch enemy had an issue. And that's probably why Foxy Brown kind of being a little petty. Not well, not Foxy because she didn't say anything but i just see ever so often she just takes like little jabs like she just i don't know like do she just want a versus with little kim or something is she just trying to get her attention is it like what it is it's like is the hate that deep like dang like y'all i just want these girls to get over it and just come together 
to be honest with you. I would love to see that battle. That would be dope. But, um, yeah, do you guys think that's petty, though? Do you think that's a sign that there's something going on in a relationship? Do you think he's being petty? Do you think he's out of line? I think he's out of line. Um, this, It do always seem like th their relationship was a bit weird to me. I don't know. Little Kim and his relationship always seemed kind of weird to me. You know, remember him, him saying that if you cheat on me, I will K-I-L-L -L you, you know, take your life or whatever. Um, I don't know. It, it just gives me vibes that's like... He run the relationship a little too much because he's just doing stuff to be like just out of line, in my opinion. Like, these girls do not like each other, they can't stand each other. And here, you under her status, uh, liking stuff. And I think for little Kim to kind of put up with that, I don't think it's about confidence or anything. I child, I ain't trying to be funny, but I think she's anything from confident. Um, maybe I'm just assuming too much, but I think when you get that much surgery and looking like a whole different person, I don't know, whatever. But I, I just think that it just seemed like desperate. Like, I'm just going to be in this relationship and he can handle me any kind of way. And I don't know. And he's just like, well, I know I ain't got nothing to worry about because he ain't like she going to do nothing. She ain't going to leave. He just seemed to me like that type of person. They, that's what their relationship give off. Very, I ain't trying to put nothing out in the air, but it just gives me very uh, abusive vibes. Whether it's physically, verbally, controlling. It just gives me all kinds of crazy vibes. Is it just me or what? But I just feel like when you add everything up, like he put that, and this was two years ago, but still, you put that on in the internet and trying to have a moment, but she didn't know, according to you. So if I were to believe that, that she didn't know that you and Foxy had something when you were 16, 17, if he's being honest about the age, 16 and 17, right? So that's messy. Y'all still together. Y'all got a baby. And... Now you liking her stuff. And people are in the comment section like, oh, you being messy, whatever, whatever. Some people are saying, well, he can't like other music. But I feel like it's deeper than that, in my opinion. But I don't know. Comment in the comment section and tell me what you guys think um, about this situation.